welcome back to Maypole. It is episode 14, I believe, and we are in August. We have jumped ahead, uh, done a lot of work. Uh, mostly maintenance work, to be honest, but um, yeah, yeah, been keeping busy. Of course, I'm going to give you an update on where we're at. In the last episode, I left you with the mower. Uh, somehow, um, grass grows really fast on this map. And this is actually the next grass harvest. So I'm a little, yeah, I think it's a two month, two months only. We're gonna put this away and I'll catch you up a bit. There's been some change and uh and purchases made so uh where's my windrower i want to get that going we are out of uh hay again i'm gonna need to find more sources of hay i think um these cows and these numbers they are going through stuff like crazy it's uh it's a little challenging gotta be honest our BGA has been an absolute godsend. Um, it is generating money for us and in in, in allowing us to um, uh, progress. If it wasn't for that, uh, we'd be we'd be struggling. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do two. This will take a little while. We'll get it going now. All right, so we're going to harvest the grass. We're going to put it in the uh, um, in the dryer and get some hay out of it. All right, so what did we do? What did we do? Let's have a look at the map. Um, OK, so as you can see, um, we have added four fields. We picked up all four of these fields and, um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one is, uh, these guys are already, I've already started on one canola. Uh, this is canola, that's canola, and this is corn. And I bought all four because I will make one big field out of it. Uh, but they were also, they were ready, ready to go. Uh, canola high prices are not quite yet, but they're coming up. And uh, I don't have, I do not have a uh, silo right now. So I got to deal with that. I'll figure that out. We'll buy something cheap, I guess. Um, uh, that said, this one here is corn. And we're going to chop that to get uh, some silage going because we're, we're running out of that too. So eventually we'll buy this guy. I don't know what's in there. What's that? Ugh, sugar beet. Yeah, I'm not sure. We, we might wait. <laughs> um, we'll join these four and then when this one, perhaps we buy it, uh, we can add to it, make one huge field. That'll be pretty good. So, um, let's let's move on to this as you can tell i took down the hedges in between the fields in anticipation that we will be merging them so the money has been good out of the bga and these fields are really not expensive um this cost me like 200,000 for these three, maybe 250, 260 for all four of them, uh, which is, you know, pretty decent when you think about it. Um, da -da -da. At this point, I'm not getting fussy about getting it at every little piece. I just want to get it done without uh, any kind of problems with hedges and trees and whatnot. You'll see, you see there's trees up there at the top. Um, those actually aren't there anymore. I've taken those down. Um, it just shows up unless I reset the game, you know? 
um, save the game, exit, come back in, uh, then they're no longer visible. A weird glitchy thing. So our truck here is... We are at 55% uh, and uh, as soon as they go by, actually maybe we can just put right here, they'll top us up. Uh, canola is not the best price right now, but I might still sell it. Let's have a look. Um, 1687 at the farmer's market is the best price and we can go all the way to, yeah, it's not great, is it? Um, we're here, August. We should definitely wait. So yeah, we need a silo. Um, okay. Why don't we do that next? Okay. Uh, we've got some straw to pick up as well. We're out of straw as well. It's, uh, it's a bit of a nightmare. Good news is this thing is creating a lot of mineral feed, but I still have a lot of wheat and canola in here, so that's fantastic. All right, so I'm thinking that this might be a good spot. So I'm going to obviously step away. Let's see if we can find a cheap silo that, that can work for us. Okay, I found this here. This might work. Um... It's multi-fruit, and it is a massive capacity. We don't really need that capacity, but the price is kind of right. I don't know if that's the best place for it, though. I'm not sure. I guess we could maybe go here? Hmm. How about like this? Maybe that would be good. Yeah, why not? Let's do this. Ah, crap. I just did something I didn't want to do. We might have problems again with stuff being in here. There's already manure in here. Yes. Okay, anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with it. Okay, so... Let's pick up our... We, we, we have to pick up some swaths. Lots of them. Lots of them. Let's have a look at this. I've been feeding this uh, a bit, and I just realized that... Um, I've, got, I've actually got food in here. Um, so, technically, I could get the cows going. I do need hay and straw here as well, though. Um, you know, we have straw for mixing, but we don't have any for bedding. And there is a bit of silage in there, not a lot, but there's food, there's food. So no reason why we can't get them started, right? I think we're gonna try to do that this episode. Although I am not really selling anything. Uh, oops. Maybe we'll do that next episode. I need I need some money, um, and the BGA will provide us that for next episode. For now, yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Let's get some of this straw picked up. This is a very bu busy farm, very very busy. So, you know, um, I'm going to be, for the rest of this series, I am going to be uh, doing a lot of, um, I want to say harvesting off camera. Um, picking up straw, you know, working the grass, uh, that kind of thing. And then we'll keep the uh, the real, you know, unique and new and interesting kind of things for for the for this uh, episodes. 
like right now, probably the most interesting thing that we're going to do on this um, episode is to get um, that corn chopped. So I have to go lease, lease a, a forage harvester and a, a corn header and then uh, probably a special trailer to do that with. So we'll get that done shortly. I just need to get some straw down because our, our, our core key source of income um, is our BGA right now. And because the cows don't have straw, they're not producing manure and uh, we need that to feed the BGA. So I want to get that knocked out, um, get it out of the way. As soon as we get the dairy cattle going, uh, we'll be able to generate uh, money uh, from milk. So that that's exciting. Perhaps now that I think of it, we, we should have maybe started with the dairy cows. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, let's have a look at our animals. Um, oh, did they reproduce? I think we had some reproduction. Um, 20, 26, two months. Oh, I think I just bought a whole bunch. Anyways, uh, we'll see. Um, so our straws coming up. Uh, we've got quite a bit of slurry and we have quite a bit of food now, which is great. Um, we need hay, uh, but, uh, it's not urgent because we have so much food. It appears we have a problem with our harvester not, not unloading. It must be stuck. Let's go have a look at that. Uh, there we go. Okay. This is coming along. We're going to have to pick all this up. Let's get back to our straw. All right, we're going to give this load of straw to the uh, dairy pen. Dairy barn. I guess it's more of a barn than a pen. Right, I'm going to pick up the rest of this straw and then uh, we're going to get that field redrilled. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this actually. So um, we have a Pronto, uh, we have a horse and it was on sale in the used, used market. Uh, this is a direct drill uh, and it does fertilize. Uh, it's a bit smaller than the blue one we had uh, leased, but this one we actually bought it. So um, this is, you know, we're really good with this. This is going to help a lot. The other one we had to cultivate and we had to fertilize separately. Uh, even though it was bigger, it was in the end, it was more work to get the fields ready. All right, that's it for the straw. We're going to put oat right back in here. We're going to keep doing oats. Um, the horses horses need the food. I'm uh, kind of interested to see what happens when they reproduce the two horses. We won't sell them for a while, uh, if ever. Uh, but I would love to see if they actually um, populate that whole thing. Um, okay, I think we're going to put this in here. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's just double check first. Oh, we can't check that way. Um, straw, we got 70,000. Yeah, we'll put it as bedding. We're going to get more. Uh, we've got another field that's going to be uh, producing 
withdraw in a little bit. Oops, I missed some painting. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside for now. Off camera, we will get a, gather up all that grass and put it in the fermenter. For now, though, I want to get... Uh, where am I? I'm going to get the drilling going. Then we're going to move on to uh, the corn chop. Okay, we're on oats. All the fertilizer, direct drill. Life is good. It only had 10 hours on it. It was a pretty decent. It was about 55% off. I did have to uh, repair and paint it though, and the paint was really bad. Um, da -da -da. That is a 9 meter. Okay, off we go. Awesome. All right, um, let's head to the store. We got to pick up a few things. All right, so um, not construction. We are looking for a forage harvester. Uh, not a harvester, a forage harvester, and let's see if we can get a decent deal. Three eighties. Ooh, 60,000. I'm not sure that's good enough for the size that what we're, what we're doing, but this is really interesting for other maps. Hmm. Uh, that's a 650. That's a 650 to, uh, let's have a look at this Russell Mosh. It can handle this. Uh, which is requires 580. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Um, that's 305. There's a John Deere here. That's 38. Um, well, it's 305 to buy, but it starts at 380 horsepower. Big X. 476. I think this is actually the best deal here. So we're going to lease this 15,000 and we're going to get this attacher is going to be a smash. We'll lease that. So we're up to about 20,000 so far. And then I want a special trailer for this. I want to use, uh, where are they? Here they are. And I think we're gonna go big. Um, that's a pretty huge, well, that's too big, I think. What about that one? That's 45, 36. I think we're gonna go with the 36. I don't really wanna strain. Um, yeah, I don't wanna strain the, the Forge harvester too much. Yeah, let's just uh, release that as well. Another 2,000. So 22,000 for this solution. That seems about the right size, I think. I get my stupid fertilizer bags. You guys saw what I did, right? What a boneheaded move that was. All right, we're off. Uh, can we take a shortcut to get there? I think if we go this way. This will be our source, our core source of silage. I mind buying some of this equipment, but the money's just not flowing that, that strongly yet. That should be good. Should have picked up some silage additive. 
didn't think of that. Don't really need it. Actually, to be honest, I don't really know what it does. I don't know, you know, how much it improves the yield. What does it do? I don't think I've ever used silage additive. Ooh, that seems small, doesn't it? Might take a little bit. Okay. That's fine. Oh, da, da, da. We'll do two headlands, six smooth. That should work. Go. Okay. All right. Uh, we are at 45%. 45%. We're at 80%. 46,685 liters. This will fill us up. We'll come back. We'll get... There's another field to be done there. Once all these fields are done, we'll get them all plowed and we'll join them into one big field. Not sure what we're putting in it yet, though. We could use more money, so cash crops might be an option. I really don't want to be uh, picking up swaths any more than I already am. All right. Off we go. Oh boy, we're going to get a lot out of that. Out of that cornfield already at 70%. That's the beauty of chaff. Can I ask you guys how you were doing today? I don't remember. Okay, so this is going to go into the silo. Which loads from this side over here. There we go. I don't know how our other fields are doing. Have a look while we're waiting. This one's about ready to, to go. Uh, that'll be next month for sure. And that is... That is... Um, uh, sorghum. So this is a wheat field, and this will generate more straw. That's our next straw collection here, I think. Mind you, oat grows really fast. All right, our first load half is full. I'm going to put this here for now. Not sure if there's going to unload or not. Okay. Let's go unload this. into the fermenter. Whoa. Okay, that's unloading. Let's get that production going. And we're going to activate chaff. We do have we do have silage. That's pretty good. We're out of the other stuff though. This is yeah, that's going to be fantastic. I'm going to turn off grass because we won't be doing that anymore. It'll be all, all chaff. And if we get an abundance of straw, we might turn that on. Here we have zero grass. What are we doing with these guys? We've got a fair amount of manure, hardly any slurry left. We'll need to get that going. Uh, hit our truck again. Okay, where were we? Off we go. 
Okay, next field. It's two down, one to go. Alright, we're done with this. Well, let's put this drill away. And then we've got work. Work for this guy to do. Uh, I think I'll put this away right here. Oh, the long back up in the... Does this fit in here? Not perfect, but that might be a, one of the better backup jobs I've done. Okay, uh, this way. Put them up the wall. Perfect. I need my plow. So we're going to start the process. I find it easier to just plow out the individual uh, fields first and then uh, manually do in between them. At the end of the day, all got to be plowed and it all has to be... Uh, ah, I forgot. I forgot to check whether I need lime in that field. Are we full again? Oh my goodness. Staying super busy. Let's start with this guy. Uh, this one... Yeah, I hope it doesn't behave weird like it did last time. Um, we are going to do smooth on this. Uh, no, we'll do sharp. Okay. Go. Quite a good sized field, so it's important to get it going, I guess. Yeah, we're full again. So in the future, we're going to put something else in this field. We're not going to put uh, corn. Uh, we're going to leave this other field here, the big one, uh, for corn. Starting to think I should have gotten the biggest tra uh, trailer available. I can actually, I think I can add one, another one on here if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I think he's stuck up there. We'll go fix that. It's just the first lap really that does weird things. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. No, I did not clear those trees. I should get on those. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna clear up those trees as well. Now, I did sell a few things. Um, I sold uh, a solid fertilizer spreader. And uh, I think there was something else. I forget. Yeah, I'm not sure. Ooh, my backup game is strong today. Uh, where did I put it? There it is. Okay, I'm going to take a little break here. As you can tell, things are really busy, and they're not going to get any not busy, I guess. Um, I want to have a look at this real quick. Um, we are a 720 of 850. Um, so we should see some reproduction. Um, how old are these guys? 20, 26. Uh, we should actually check reproduction through this. 
Um, these guys have not hit pu puberty yet. These ones um, have just started. These ones are ready to reproduce pretty soon. And these ones, uh, not so soon, but yeah, looking good. Looking pretty good. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Um, there's a lot of work to do. I mean, yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of off camera stuff. Um, we're going to finish the corn um, top and we're going to get that going. If we look at uh, where are we right here, we got 70 in here. Um, I hope to fill this thing completely. Um, yeah, that might be challenging. And that needs to be dealt with. That needs to be dealt with. Anyways, long story short, I got work to do off camera. I'm going to get to it. I'll leave you guys, give you a full update um, in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Um, hope you're enjoying the series, the channel. If you are, please consider subscribing. And of course, I wish you a great day.